Now that we have had the chance to explore the Maps app interface, let's begin with our first task. Creating a map that shows pregnant women with severe malaria in training land. Under the File button, click on New to open a new map. For the base map, select Bing Road. Now let's add a boundary layer. Click on the Add Layer button and select Boundaries. A new box opens that allows you to edit the layer. For this example, we want to display District boundaries. From the organization unit tree, select training land. From the drop down list, select levels, choose district. Then click on add layer. You can now see the district boundaries of training land. Now, let's add a layer of event information by adding an event layer to the map. Click on the Add Layer button and choose Events. We can now see the Add Event Layer box. First, in the Data tab, we need to select the data we would like to view in the Event Layer. Choose Malaria Case Management as the program and program stage. In this example, we have data from an event program that is using the Capture Coordinates option within the event. These are the coordinates we will want to view, so let's leave the coordinate field as Event Location. As we saw at the beginning of the demonstration, this represents the location where the case contracted malaria. In the Period tab, you can either choose a start and end date or a relative period. Set the start and end dates to cover the 1st of January of 2020 to the 31st of March 2020. In the Org Units tab, select Training Land as the organization unit. Moving to the Filter tab, click on Add Filter. This is where you create filters to apply criteria to the events being displayed in the map. Only events that meet your criteria will be displayed. In our case, we have two criteria, pregnant equals yes, and condition of patient equals severe. The first filter is pregnant women. In the data item, choose pregnant. Leave the operator as one of, and the option as yes. Add a second filter by clicking on the Add Filter button. Under the Data item, choose Condition of Patient, the Operator, One of, and the option is Severe. Before adding the layer, we want to ensure that the clustering is on. Go to the Style tab and ensure Group Events is selected. By doing so, you will group events together to make the map easier to read. If you select View All the Events, you'll display all of the events separately on the map. Now click on Add Layer. The map will now display the cases that meet your criteria. 
If we look at the event layer in the data dimension column on the left side of the app, we can see the details for the event layer we added appear. If we would like to make further edits to this later, we can make them by clicking on the pen icon. If we zoom in on the map, we can view the individual events in greater detail. Zoom in until you get to a single data point and click on one. A box opens that shows the key data elements that are associated with the event. We can verify that the case is a female and the condition of patient is severe. We also see other details such as treatment outcome and medication. The Maps app allows you to save your map as a favorite so you can add it to a dashboard, easily retrieve it, or share it with your colleagues. Go to the File menu and click on Save. Enter the name of the map and a short description if applicable. It's also a good idea to use your initials and your favorite name to easily find it again in the list of saved maps. Once you have added a name, then click Save. We will pause here so you have a chance to complete the activities and create a map for Task 1.